Hello, Leo. This is your mid-August 2019 reading. And remember, it will not resonate with every Leo, but I'm looking for new positive energies to come in for Leo. I'm asking for this, and hopefully, the de you know, the universe gives it to us. But this is for Leo, full Celtic cross, mid-August 2019. The energy's coming in for Leo. Leos that have this Leo dominant in their chart. People that have Leo dominant in their chart. Let's see what's going on. See what the beginning energy, coming in energy is. And if it isn't like a positive reading or something comes up that's kind of, we will work through it. We always do. Uh, I'm getting out of line. It doesn't matter how much I shuffle. I shuffle. I shuffle these, I don't know how long, before I even turn the video on and concentrate on the sign I'm doing. And I got this for a few of them, for a few of the um, zodiac signs. But it's a seven of swords. It's feeling like someone did you wrong, someone was sneaky, did you, know, did you dirty, try to get by with something, flying under the radar. For a few of you, you could be doing this, but it is the seven of swords. In the upright. Ah. Maybe you're working towards a happily ever after situation. Fulfillment, true fulfillment. Ten of cups in the upright. Maybe some of you are, like I said, going for that, not telling people. Or it could be even though you suffered, you know, people doing things to you, you're still going to get your ten of cups. If that makes any sense. It's crossing it. It's trying to keep balance. Trying to keep your head on straight. Try it trying to do what is right around you and, and keep on going with the art card temperance. You know? What crowns you or your goal, I'm thinking of what crowns you is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Now the Queen of Wands in reverse could be anything. It could be just about anything. But it's ba what I mean by that, I always hear people say, well, there's a mean person, they're vicious and stuff. It can be. But it also can be that... Um, you're not feeling well. You're feeling insecure. Maybe someone irritated you. Maybe you have the stomach flu. It's all kind of things why the Queen of Wands could be reversed. The problem is when she's in reverse, she could be a little touchy, or he, he or she could be a little touchy, and maybe um, that's what crowns you, and um, like something's just wrong. And you're, that's why the uh, Temperance or Art card is there. You're trying to regain balance, and I do see maybe some, some type of. Uh, final satisfaction comes in. And remember, I'm going to clarify these. I'm just telling you what they are up, hand, up front. But when I start clarifying, it can change the story up and make it real interesting. So bear with me. Ah, lovers. That's something to do with a lover situation. Maybe a partnership or something that you have an emotional attachment to. It's in the upright. In the past, you felt trapped, bound by something. Usually mentally trapped. The, you know, I say this all the time. Um, the real meaning of this card is that it's the energy that you can get out of. It's something you got to figure out for your own self and release from. And I keep on seeing you trapped in the past. And I keep on telling you broke free. And that's what it was. You were trapped in the past. But it looks you're, like you're gaining something you like, but you're still trying to regain balance for some reason. In the near future, you may be dealing with an emperor and Aries for some of you. Even though I don't really assign one sign to a card, this could be a fiery type energy. It also could be uh, someone who is a little bit controlling in your life or controlling the situation around you. You know, and they're in the upright. They mean well. Even if you don't like it, maybe that's why you're in reverse. You don't like what they're saying to you, but they mean well because it's there. Now I'm going to lay out four more and I'm get, getting to it. It's a possible future outcome. What is coming towards you and the final outcome? But I'm trying to deal with the near future first and see what's going on. And we will find out what's going on. I use a different deck. I shuffle these and I concentrate on these. As always. Now let's go back to the beginning. We got the Ten of Cups. It is in the upright. What's crossing it is temperance, balance, keeping control, keeping your mind clear. So, Ten of Cups in the upright. The R card crossing it. Why are you there? For Leo in mid-August, okay? It's mid-August. Every once in a while I may flub up and say, oh gosh, that's a good card. Oh, 
every once in a while I may mess up and say a, a different month or, or say a card different or whatever, but I concentrate on these, like I said, right before the video. You know, I always meditate on them, and I de definitely get the right month always. But I take a long time shuffling sometimes. So the Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment. But you, you still got to regain balance. It's like some of you are healing from something because you were in that. You had a lot of interference, a lot of entrapment. That's what the Eight of Swords means too. Everything seemed to interfere in your life, you know, in the past. So the Ten of Cups in the upright. The art card crossing it, the nine of cups in the upright, wish fulfillment, happiness. Why are you there for Leo? They deserve it. It's a good month for Leo, astrologically, too. Ah, even though I see the lovers here trying to regain balance with a love situation or a partnership that went amok. Yeah. Maybe you're going to let it go, make a conscious decision to let it go. Whatever was bothering you that entrapped you before with the two of wands in reverse. I'm going to get another card because that popped out. But can I get another card for the subject at hand? Ten of cups. The art card crossing it. Nine of cups wish fulfillment over a love situation that kind of went amok. And it could be that you're letting it go or maybe it's you're just not letting it bother you anymore or things got better or things are going to get better. Can I get another card? Yeah, you're still dealing with something from the past a little bit, but you're happier. That's the universe card, the world card. And that's like karmic cycles. So you're still dealing with the karmic cycle. You're getting wish fulfillment with that. I don't know what it is. You can leave it in the comments. It'll be different for everybody. And we're all in a different timetable. For some of you, this may have already happened. For many of you, it'll happen um mid-August and some maybe after. It's just the way it is. The way it works with Tarot. Now what crowns you or what your goal, and I'm thinking of what crowns you, I don't think you want to feel in reverse, but maybe you do. Maybe you want to stand up for yourself. Maybe you want to say what's in your mind and people think, my gosh, what's going on with the Queen of Wands there? So the Queen of Wands in reverse, why you there is what crowns Leo. And it could be that you're dealing with another fire sign that's kind of out of it too. So, why are you there is what crowns Leo. Yeah, you're trying to get growth, blessings. And I'm thinking some of you are still kind of like under the weather in some sorts or just feeling down a little bit. And you're trying to lift yourself up with the Empress and the Upright for gain growth. So, Queen of Wands in reverse, the Empress in the Upright. Why are you there is what crowns Leo. Yeah, putting, yeah, you, you were, it's the Four of Swords, and it's in reverse, so in a way that's good, it's, it's, you're in recovery mode, you're in recovery mode, you're in recovery, you're starting to uh, come out of taking a break and you've recovered, but you, you know, you, it's still there, that energy where you needed to, to take a break, so you're still kind of tired, but you're on your way to recovery, whatever it is, whether it's depression, illness, you know, finances, whatever it is, you were get, you're starting to recover and get your blessings. Foundation, dealing with the lover. It all had to do with a lover or, you know, lovers. The lover's card is, you know, sometimes more than just one person or two. <laughs> the lover's in the upright while you're there as a foundation for Leo. Ooh. Maybe you were stuck in your head over a lover situation, maybe obsessed. Maybe thinking about them. Maybe things got a little, um, I don't know, racy for some of you. When I get the lovers and the devil there, i got to have another card. Because sometimes that's like trying to know your safe word, you know. Um, it can get a little, um, like I said, racy. But we won't go there. We don't want to get demonetized. But the lovers and the devil both in the upright while you're there. Maybe in love with the devil, huh? I don't know. Has to do with the Prince of Discs. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone dark, you know. Um, sometimes. Sometimes someone young at heart. It also could be messages of stability. So they're good cards. I don't see anything wrong with the devil, really. I know a lot of people say it's not. It's just really being fixated on something. Sometimes it is an obsession. Sometimes it's a negative thing. But it could be a love situation with the Prince of Dis. Either you're really into them or they're really into you or you're really into both of each other. Now, in the past, you have the Eight of Swords. You had a lot of interference. And, and that's 
for a lot of, I know for a lot of the Leos. They had a lot of interference. They felt trapped by something. So Eight of Swords in the upright. Why are you there for Leo in the past? Why are you there for Leo in the past? Yeah, you felt like none of your ships were coming in. You felt like thing, yeah, something just blocked you all the time with the Three of Wands in reverse. Eight of Swords in the upright, Three of Wands in reverse. Why are you there in the past? For Leo, remember we're all in a different timetable. Yeah, coming out of heartbreak, you 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 felt trapped. You felt like think you know, like I said, something was blocking everything. It had a lot to do with your mindset, and you felt heartbroken. Slowly you were recovering, but it's still there in the past. You still remember it, but it looks like you're getting wish fulfillment in your Ten of Cups situation, and you're making a conscious decision to go for it. It's like you need to make that decision. Yeah, there was a lot of deception in the past, too. Things hidden from you with the moon. But I'm going on to the emperor now. The emperor in the upright. Maybe you're taking on this energy. Maybe you're going to rule well. Some of you, like I said, will be dealing with like an Aries type energy, a Wands type energy, passionate energy, someone in control of their lives, but can control others a little bit. So the emperor in the upright, why are you there? For Leo in the very near future. Sorry, this is a little crooked. I hate when that happens. We'll straighten it later. I don't know why it's crooked. I must have hit it. Yeah, they're going to tell you better make the right choices in life. They're going to be like giving you advice, this person. Do you know who this person is? Because they're going to be telling you, um, watch who you pick in the future in your life or the, or the options that are for you. Make sure they're the good options. Don't just take anything. I can almost hear it. So the emperor in the upright seven of cups in the upright in the very near future someone's going to be telling you something that and they're getting kind of bossy with you why are you there for leo see just let them do it you're getting wish fulfillment yeah they don't know any better with the high priestess in the reverse they don't have a clue they don't have a clue as to what you're feeling but they mean well because they're in the upright so they usually give good advice Must have bumped that. I really must. There we go. Now let's go to possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Ah, seven of wands. I love that energy. Taking control, taking, um, doing things right, getting on top of things. It says to do it. The universe says to do it, and I have no problem with Leo um, homing in on this. Do you? Do you have a problem with this? Is seven of wands? Seven of wands in the upright. Why are you there for Leo? Why are you there? Ace of Disc, get on top of things. Don't worry about the things that didn't pan out, the things that you thought were going to, um, in the past that trapped you, that you didn't think was going to work out. Go for it now, even though you thought that it wouldn't work out. Don't, don't have negative thoughts. Don't have negative things in your mind. Don't let it trap you again. So the Seven of Wands and the Upright, go for it. It has to do with... Um, like I said, winning in a way, you know, you're, you're going to take control and you will win. It has to do with the ace of disc in reverse, you know, something that wasn't there before. Maybe it's the universe telling you to grab a hold of it. Just don't let it, you know, things go that is being offered to you also by the ten of cups. That could be it too. So the seven of wands in the upright ace of disc in reverse while you're there for Leo mid-August. I'm also thinking of the month January. Just there that is again. Mm. Don't worry about those people or something that messed you over in the past. The Seven of Swords. And for a few of you, you could have done this to somebody. And then the tables can be turned, you know. But uh, this is mostly Leos that have been experiencing this. I know for a fact. So, yeah, don't worry about that Seven of Swords anymore. Take up for yourself. Stand up. Go for what you're wanting. Don't let that Seven of Swords get to you again. Turn away that Seven of Swords stuff. That's another thing with the Ace of Discs there and the Seven of Swords. The Ace of Discs in reverse and the Seven of Swords is saying, turn that away. Just turn it away. Don't let it interrupt your long-term stability. Now, what is coming towards you are the outside environment. Prince of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in reverse, they're out there. They may be trying to say stuff. That was in last month's, wasn't it, that someone was trashing you a little? This may be this person, or maybe you did something to them or said something to them that got them in reverse, and maybe that's why you're in reverse up there, too. But um, 
they're the outside environment or what is coming towards you. So I'm giving you a forewarning. Things are looking good, but you may really, you may have to get on top of things, take a stand with the Seven of Wands. It may have to do with that Prince of Swords. So Prince of Swords, <clears throat> coming towards Leo, why are you there? Why are you coming towards Leo or the outside environment that has, you know, affected this reading? Yeah, they're going to try to take your Ten of Cups. Don't let them do it that's the Ten of Cups in reverse. And maybe they themselves are losing out where you're gaining, you're starting to go forward again, and you're, you're wanting your blessings. You're coming out of entrapment. But people aren't always happy about people, other people, doing well sometimes. And they get angry and they get upset. And they may be a little put out that they didn't get their Ten of Cups. So Prince of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse while you're there for Leo. Yeah, they don't have success. They don't have success. They don't have the Ten of Cups and they're put out. Okay? Just telling you they're out there. Your hopes and fears, you're thinking that you're still going to be dealing with karmic cycles and you want it over with. Whatever was bothering you in the past, you wanted to stay in the past, and you would like to start over, you know, in your life. So the universe in reverse while you're there. For Leo and the hopes and dreams and manifestations. And remember, you do not have to deal with karmic cycles. You can say, I'm not doing this, you know? The universe in reverse why are you there for Leo yeah you're afraid of tower situations you have been burned or something because you have a lot of fear it's like oh no what if it happens again what if this happens again trust yourself Leo trust yourself the universe in reverse the tower in the upright and the hopes and fears of Leo why are you there why are you there you're afraid a little bit of the Prince of Cups, any of you involved with a water sign that kind of made you a little fearful and thinking they may, uh, it may not be over in a karmic situation. You're afraid they may cause you a tower moment because these are fears. There's not hopes. I mean, few of you, few of you could be hoping for the Prince of Cups, but I don't think you're hoping for a tower situation. That's for sure. But the Prince of Cups can be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio messages of, uh, emotional mes messages. But, like, you know, like I said, leave it in the comments, okay? Now, the final ending. Ah, no longer taking a break. You're recovering. Like I said, you got that twice, so it's important. You are recovering, Leo. You are um, getting wish fulfillment in some ways. You're getting that Ten of Cups of emotional fulfillment. And um, you are going to be dealing with a couple of people. One's going to tell you, now don't get all caught up in that old stuff anymore. And you got someone else on the outside that's just not happy. I don't know that they're coming towards you and tell you this or try to affect you in some way. But don't let them steal your cup energy. And, you know, take a stand over um, something that may try to take away your, your stability. So recover. Just don't let people in and take what you have again or take your stability or take your peace of mind. So four of swords in reverse while you're there. For Leo, at the very end, I almost said a Taurus, too. They're on my mind, too. Some of you may be involved with a Taurus. But, yeah, you're gonna, you're still going to be keeping to yourself a little. Get the hermit there, but you are coming, you are recovering from something. You are getting more peace in your life. And maybe this is why you say, I like the quiet. I like it quiet for a change because something really disrupted your life before. And you are getting emotional contentment and your wish fulfillment. Maybe you're just going to take it all in and just enjoy it for a little bit. Maybe go somewhere. Maybe even by yourself and go on vacation or something. So, four swords in reverse, the hermit card in the upright. Why are you there? Why are you there as the final outcome? You are recovering, Leah. Whatever happened, you're recovering from... But you're still, like I said, it's still there a little bit. The recovery is still there, you know, where you're not feeling 100% like yourself, but you're much better than you were. The Sun card in reverse is not a terrible card. It's better in the upright, but it's not like you're unhappy. It's like you, you, you're thinking to yourself, well, I could be happier. I need to really recover still and get myself back to the way I was way back when, when I was happy with myself and other people around me and life in general. But like I said, you still have those fears, so that could be why that you're thinking, oh, it's going to be taken from me, but don't worry about it. Don't let the ugly in. Stand up for yourself against people trying to take advantage of you. Listen, in a way, to the emperor. It means well, saying don't let, the, don't let garbage back. 
don't even think about it, but they had no clue to what you went through 100% because I see the high priestess there. So their intuition is a little off, even though they're in the upright and mean well. In the end, you got the two of swords. They call this the peace card, inner peace. It also is called like putting up boundaries and knowing who you let in your life and who you uh, leave out. So that is your reading. It's a great reading. Take it. Take that Ten of Cups. Take the Nine of Cups. Stand up for yourself. Get rid of the garbage. It's okay. You may have a little bit. I forgot about that. That foundation. You may have a little bit of a interesting mix in the near future. The very near future. Um, or maybe someone's obsessing on you a little bit, like I said. But you are getting your Nine of Cups. Your Ten of Cups, it looks like. You're really standing ground and, um, and recovering from whatever happened to you. And I'm going to let this go. And I will talk to you later. Bye.